The Chinese community in Toronto has served as an inspiration for us all. This is what a community is supposed to do. When a government fails, it is up to we, the people, to stand up. On behalf of my entire campaign, I want to, you to know that Marissa Shen is a daughter of us all. You know, one of my volunteers asked me today as we were walking towards, he said, Faith, are we politicizing a death? It's a legitimate question, but I have a legitimate answer. Marissa Shen's death is completely inextricable from politics. It is a direct result of public policy, namely that of open borders and a reckless Syrian refugee system. As Kevin J. Johnson accurately pointed out, do you remember the last election? Every single candidate was in a contest over who could bring in more Syrians faster. That's literally what it came down to. And Justin won. He could bring in the most amount of Syrians in the fastest way possible. And he was so afraid after he got elected that he wasn't going to be able to make those 40,000 in a couple months. So what did he do? He changed the rules for Syrian ref refugees. Syrian refugees who were already safe in Jordan, by the way, already there in their Muslim camps over there. They were fine. He changed the rules. So what did that mean to expedite the process? The beast, the beast, as Marissa Shen's brother accurately described it, the beast never had a police check. The beast didn't have any sort of police check from Syria, and the beast didn't have any sort of police check from Jordan. Okay? So what does that mean? Maybe he was a little girl killer back there, and we brought him here. And, and today, you know, uh, I don't know if any of you follow me on social media, but I saw our Prime Minister today, and I asked him to say Marissa Shen's name. I asked him to answer as he said he would for this death, a direct result of his policies. <laughs> Friends, we are literally sacrificing our children on the altar of political correctness and open borders globalism right now. There was a time when we understood that immigration policy was not for the world, it was for our country. We can see right now, immigration the way Justin Trudeau is doing it, is not serving our country at all. My aunt called me after I accosted our Prime Minister there and said, Faith, you sounded really mad. I said, I am. You know, when folks like Kevin, like Menzoid back there, like myself, we get up in the morning, we make our videos, we stop these people on the street and we talk about these issues. It's not a nine to five for us. It's not just a job. It's a calling. It's a vocation. So I'll leave you with this. I want you to know that it is my personal pledge to make Marissa Shen a household name across the country. We will do that. If you don't mind, uh, I'm, I'm Christian background, so I'd like to just ha have a, just a moment of prayer. If you don't mind, if we could just bow our heads. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, you said on your Sermon on the Mount, blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Lord Jesus Christ, we trust in you, and we know that Marissa Shen is within your hands right now, where there is no pain, no turmoil, no suffering, and she is absolutely free of any of the things that took away the last moments of her life. Lord Jesus, we ask that you comfort those that mourn for her here at home, especially her mother, her father, her brother. Lord, we ask that the pebble from his heart be removed. Lord, only you can do that. We ask that you touch it, uh, little Marissa Shen's family. On top of that, Lord, we ask that you take all of Canada and bless us with better leaders, Lord. Bless us with an illumination of conscience so that we can know who is really serving us, who is really serving you, and who really will keep the wolves that seek to destroy the flock of this country away from our borders. Thank you, Lord. In your name, we pray. Thank you, everyone. Amen. Amen.